How likely is it that Fred's pain is due to a cord compression? It depends a lot on what sort of pain it is. And here's the difficulty because a lot of patients with cancer, especially advanced cancer, if they have bone metastases, have pain. And how do you differentiate between pain which is significant, maybe due to something like cord compression, as opposed to something which is just due to uh, simple bone metastases? And I think that's where it's important to ask the patient whether there's been a change in the, uh, in the type of pain. So right. quite often patients will be able to tell that this is not the kind of pain they're used to, this is different. Yeah. Especially if the pain wakes them up at night or okay. if they're lying down and the pain gets worse. Uh, and because of where the compression is, which is in the spinal canal, uh, anything that increases the pressure on the spinal canal fluid, the, the CSF, uh, if that increases pain, then that is also indicative that there might be a compressive element there. So for example, if the patient sneezes or if they're straining at stools and they find that the pain right, okay. worsens. The other thing is, even if it doesn't worsen, if it radiates at that point, so for example, there might be back pain and the strain and they find that the pain is radiating to the front or the radiating down the legs. I think that's okay. another thing to, which sort of uh, should send a, a little alarm sound saying that this sounds uh, significant. And of course, the traditional thing which we are all taught is about radiating uh, pain. So uh, if they've got a neck pathology radiating down the arm, if they've got a thoracic pathology coming across the chest yeah. or indeed going down the legs in a sciatica type uh, fashion. Those are the sort of red flag signs that I would look for when I was seeing a patient okay. who has uh, cancer. Um, of course, the difficulty is that you know the, the cord compression hasn't read a textbook, yeah. so the pain could just be worsening of pain, full stop. So there has to be a degree of, uh, I would say, a degree of suspicion in any patient who's reporting nuance of pain or a change in their pain to, to be investigated uh, thoroughly.